Hello YouTube, this is part two of my Exploring New Territory Beyond Chili Line Road. I took a little hike down here on one of the many trails here in Windmill Ridge and uh, Rancho Viejo. Now I've gotten to some kind of, it's not really, I wouldn't call it an array, it's some kind of like tunnel. I don't know that I'd be able to fit inside it, but let's check it out. Oh, it's all this uh, brush and it's just... Oh, sorry. I have to get up. I'm sitting. This is, this is what I do to, <laughs> oh, to show uh, how much I uh, love doing what I do. I get down on the ground here. Oh. Yes, I get down on the ground. I'm going, I can't. I don't know that I. Well, I might be able to fit inside there. That, my friends. See that? I don't know if I can get. Uh, can I get there? I can't tell. Uh, well, I am getting a reflection on this one. There is a tunnel. There, you can see it now. It's a tunnel. I don't even want to attempt to go through it. I don't know if I'd oh, I can see to the other end of it. Ugh. Oh, I'm sorry. It is going. Okay. I never know whether I hit the play button or start button on my videos. Look at all this brush. Look at it. It's just brush laden here. Brush laden. Ugh. That, my friends, is the tunnel. Ugh. This is where I'm at. Yeah. This is beyond Chili Lane Road. I have never explored down here. I thought there was some kind of like array, but uh. Oh, I'm going to sit on this thing. I don't think I'm in danger of... Uh, oh, she's running into any unusual people down here. This is kind of a really secluded place. I don't know <laughs> how many explorers are down here because of all the brush. I mean, I'm right up. You can see by that trail. Right up on the road here. Um... I'm missing all you guys. I was kind of having a really rough day. I was telling my folks I'm just really lonely and um, I get so much pleasure out of watching other people do what they love and travel and uh, get to do those things. Since our numbers are going up, I don't know um, what's, what it's going to be like a month from now. Uh, my parents will not travel because of their age unless maybe they could get tested. I think you can get tested before traveling out of state because we wouldn't be flying. We'd be driving 12 hour drive up north to Boise. And of course my parents, I would prefer to like do a long day of driving, but since I don't drive, uh, they're in the driver's seat. <laughs> no, I mean, no pun intended, but, uh, whatever. Anyway, they make the rules. I mean, they like to stop and they really like to stop a lot. Well, not a lot. I, I don't, I like to stop to take pictures. And, you know, get an energy drink or a coffee or something to eat. But they like to stop and spend the night, which I'm not a big fan of. That means usually we have to get up, like, before around sunset. Or, I'm sorry, sunrise. And be on the road by, like, 5 or 6 in the morning. You know, but I don't think they'd feel comfortable, like, pulling over to the side of the road like they did when they were kids. And they were traveling with their families. But uh, that's what they did when they were kids. They'd just pull over and... Florida side of the road, going west from the east coast. When my mom was from the east coast, they travel. They travel out west to the Midwest. Uh, my grandfather, my mom's father would. Uh, there were six of them. They would pull over and sleep on the side of the road in the car. But safety in numbers, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. But uh, no, they they got to stop and spend the night. It's like why you know they can't drive non-stop for like 12 13 hours we did it coming out here one of the day it took us three as part of three days to get here from chicago driving they don't want to and i said i want to do vegas in one day they don't want to do it they want i mean they'd rather fly personally i just especially now with COVID, i hate to fly i just despise flying unless you're going to a place where you can't get there any other way like hawaii or if i were to go to like I've always wanted to go to South America, but uh, Mexico we could drive to, but, you know, with the borders being closed and stuff, I don't know. Canada, we'd probably fly maybe to Montreal or to 
Toronto. And we might fly, but if we're traveling within the contiguous, like for lower 48, we would uh, drive, which I prefer. I just love to drive. And believe me, if I could drive, I would. I've always been really nervous about driving in the city, so I never had a car or anything. Um, my anxiety level spiked trying to drive in Chicago and like heavily, tra heavily populated, tra heavy traffic areas was just a nightmare for me. My anxiety, so I would have liked to follow through with that. I had a driver's permit for a while, so I had to drive with somebody, with a my ex or a mom or whatever. But uh, found my little my little uh, bandana, whatever it is. I don't know what do these things call these like, hippie bandana things. Found that. <sighs> This is really, it's a chill spot, it's just, walking through all that brush is, like, painful on your feet, and then, like, the thistles stick in your, like, socks, and <laughs> I try, I, I can't wear just plain, like, sandals, shoes out here, I would get, like, my feet would be torn up, so, anyway, I don't know. You know, like I was saying in the part one of this, it's all adobe, I don't know if you can see the home over there. All adobe, southwestern architecture, very southwestern, it's all adobe. All buildings pretty much in Santa Fe. My other parts of New Mexico, I think it's different, but uh, uh, Albuquerque and... Oh, I was saying, well, I guess I said it in my first video, but I'll reiterate. Um, Albuquerque is a Portuguese word. I don't know why I always thought it was like a kind of a like a Native American word or something. It's Portuguese. I learned that in a video talking about history of Albuquerque and stuff. Um, I never knew it was a Portuguese word. I mean, that makes sense. It sounds like, you know, a little Spanish, I guess, or not Spanish. Spanish and Portuguese are different. Uh, people tend to confuse them, but Spanish, Spanish and Portuguese are very different. Um, not very different just in terms of the way they sound. Like they're kind of pretty languages, you know, nice, nice sound to them, nice sound of the words. Yeah, you could find so many chill spots out here in New Mexico. I've never been down here. It's really not, it's really not. Fun. A lot of these places you can get to. It doesn't take long to get there. Even just walking it doesn't take long at all to get to these places if you just know where they are. I guess you have to. I'd even, I'd even feel, honestly, I'd feel safe walking around here at 11 o'clock at night. Not maybe down here, but up in the, up, up on the street. Because, I mean, this is really remote. And we're out of town. We're out of the main part of town. So, um, where all the businesses are. And, we're def I mean, I'm out of downtown. I'm still in Santa Fe city limits. So, I'm near the interstate. But I'm seven miles right now from my, uh complex it's pretty peaceful where i live but it's even more peaceful here <laughs> and if i had a car definitely i'd i live down here and i spend a lot more time down here a lot more time but yep i don't know if i got a shot of like inside this i forgot what my mom calls these things oh i forgot what it starts with an r these things these, like tunnels that go underground hmm. see I'm not used to this stuff being from the Midwest so it's like I have to learn all the terminology for these like things out there in the out there in the outdoors this is an outdoors place for sure if you don't love the outdoors don't move here <laughs> I say to like I mean, I'm a city dweller, and but I still always like to like the outdoors, you know. Um, I always love being outside, I mean, even sometimes in the winter, but not so much in Chicago in the winter. But Colorado, I've skied, downhill skied. Um, wanted to cross country ski here, but unfortunately that didn't happen. It was going to be for my birthday in February last year, or this past year, this 2020. But we couldn't even, our, the car, my dad's car could not make it up the mountainside, so, because of the ice and snow up in the mountains, up at Taos, the ski resort, ski lodge, and ski resort up there, really pretty, almost, well, it's further north, and it does look like Colorado a lot up there, in the northern 
our northern part of the state because I mean it's border it's bordering on Colorado so the southern border Colorado borders on the northern border of New Mexico of course we're the we're part of the four corners region in northwestern New Mexico and you got like southeastern Utah southwestern Colorado and northeastern Arizona I think that's right I have been in the Four Corners region of New Mexico, and I believe I've been in the Four Corners region of Colorado at Mesa Verde, uh, Durango. I'm trying to think. Yeah, Four Corners region. I've been in Moab, Utah, which is where Arches National Park is. Oh, that was back in 2002, but um, really a sight, you know, spectacle. Great. I mean, they have some of that in uh, some arches up in northwestern new mexico that's up near near the Az aztec ruins part of the aztec ruins i believe there's some sand i believe it's sandstone arches up there we didn't get a chance to see and we were kind of pressed for time when we went up there back and it's been a year I'm not exactly well yeah last october i can't believe how far how, how quickly this year has gone by and it was i can't believe it's been a whole year since we went up to the four corners and uh farmington uh Chaco Canyon and uh, Aztec Ruins region. Aztec is a really... I wish we could have spent more time there. We just can't do everything. New Mexico's too big and too, too much to see and do, like California, Colorado. They're all beautiful. I think the West is much... Well, I, I couldn't say the East isn't pretty at all. It's just different. It's pretty in a different way, It's but it's a lot more congested than the out West, like Colorado and Arizona, New Mexico, Utah. California is really populated, but it's still beautiful. It's such a big state that it's just, you can't. I mean, it's, you've got the densely populated areas and you've got the sparsely populated areas. So if I had to live anywhere and if I could afford to live in California, I'm sure I would rather live in California. I don't know. Hey, do you know? Did I show you? In, yes, I did show you inside the tunnel. I don't know how I, 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 bleh, 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 bleh. I can never talk. I get like tongue tied. But anyway, I uh, I get a glare on my phone with the sun, so I don't know if you could see inside the tunnel. Maybe I'll stick myself, my head, and my body inside the tunnel just quickly and uh, carefully here. All this brush. Look at all this brush. That's tall grass. Ugh. There's nobody in here. Right? I can guarantee that. Oh. oh. Yeah, I'm a little tall for this, I think. It'd be a great place for a cat or a dog, wouldn't it? Or a cat. I don't know. Can you see that? Interesting. I wish I could sit here. If there weren't all this grass in the way, I could. But we have a lot of these. Things, a lot of them. So, I don't think I'm gonna run into any uh, any strange people over here. I just don't think so. Uh, well, I want to get a want to get a picture of me sitting on this thing. I don't. I've been shooting more videos than I have. I mean. Since I've been doing photography so long and I've been uh, kind of getting more into video now, I've kind of been a little more lax with my photography, but I, I need to keep that up too. I need to be multi... I'm not going to say talented. I'm just going to say I have mul multiple interests, which I do. I always have as an adult. Ooh. Now I can feel like a breeze or something. I think it's coming through that tunnel. I hope you could see the inside of that. Pretty cool. <sighs> well, I'll definitely uh, get to that uh, other place tomorrow. Really looking forward to that, if I can find it. <laughs> That's the thing, it's not gonna show up on any uh, Google Maps or anything on my phone, so um, I'll have to just play it, but wing it, you know. I'd, it's so hard to find places out here that you don't, if they don't have like a physical, like a dress or whatever it's really hard to find places you have to kind of remember and like backtrack like places you've been and it can be really difficult to even find businesses with addresses <laughs> you know nothing's on a grid here it's not like big city some big cities like new york and chicago it's not on a grid so very uh very difficult to find places and uh, 
especially if you don't drive, so... So I'll just have to uh, wing it. I don't know. I have a good memory, but I know it was going out towards 599, which is like where the animal shelter is, which is west. So it's west, directly west of Santa Fe, kind of a little south too, but um, great, great organization, the animal shelter there in Santa Fe, here in Santa Fe, but um, anyway, it's out, it's out on one of these, like, actually, I think it's a dirt road, maybe a dirt road out there. We, yeah, we do have dirt roads here, honestly. <laughs> You have to go, uh, I think, in in the, in the Midwest to find dirt roads outside of Chicago. Probably, I don't know, 18 miles maybe? 20, I don't know. Down south, if you're going south, out west, you'd have to go a lot further than that. Probably at least 30, 30 miles, 40 miles. I don't know. To find them, but they're everywhere here. So, well... I'll start walking. I think I'm just going to go on up to this. I mean, you can see right here is where the trail meets the <laughs> Arroyo thingy. And I will go on up there. But it was a pleasure bringing this content to you all. And I will have even more tomorrow. Hopefully, God willing, if everything works out. So I'll keep our fingers crossed that I can get over and find that place. Find the abandoned whatever. So it's very pretty. It's a very pretty graffiti mural on the side. Like I guess I've only seen it from a car, so I don't know. But I will see you all later. Peace.